Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Here we are, Darren Waller, Darren Waller, uh, number 58 on the list of the NFL's top 100 players in 2022. He's got a story, he's got a story we all know about, you know, coming back, he's four years sober, might even be five years. He's six foot six, he, you know, he he, he balls out, he, he really has. I think he, he might have even got the most receiving yards in the entire Raiders squad as a tight end last year. So he's a tight end slash receiver he's a hybrid uh, he's sober and um he's an absolute good count to be fair so without further ado let's get into this video what tight end man you know what time it is that was a guy that was really fun to learn from at tight end you uh he's a receiver with an extra three inches disguised as a tight end um just the way he can kind of set up defenders because he knows how quick he can be for us tight ends like of any route it's not about our speed. Ah, he's hosting tight end university. You've got to be kidding. To the top is our speed from the top, transitioning out of your break. It all starts with a mind. Oh, you want to be quick but not in a hurry. Shit, that was rapid. Let's have a look at out that again. Of your break. It all starts with a mind. You want to be quick but not in a hurry. Mate, you're lucky I didn't slow that down because you were all over the place. It looked good from the outset, but uh, if we dive deep, I'm not going to... Look. Nick Minute. You know what? I'm going to stop right there. Darren Weiler. The type of size and the type of speed you want at that position. Perfect. Like 6'5", six, 6'6". Six, six, Perfect. 4'4", four, 4'3", four, four, guys, so having a... Look, mate, I don't know if he's a 4-3. He might be a 4-4. And with that in mind, let's look at some stats. I'm going to say 4-4-6. Actually, you know what? I'm going to say 4-5-2. And if he's saying it was a 4-3, guy, that's just absolutely not true. Either way, let's have a look. 4-4-6. Four, 4-4-6. Four, six. Four, four, six. 238 pounds, 6 foot 6, and an eighth of an inch. Definitely 6 foot 6. No doubt about that. Uh, they wouldn't list him at six foot six and an eighth if he wasn't. It'd be six foot five and and seven eighths. Thirty seven inches in the vertical, ten foot five on the broad jump, twelve reps on the bench. He is twenty nine years of age, September thirteenth, nineteen ninety two. Six foot six, as we said, two hundred fifty five pounds. Went to Georgia Tech from eleven to fourteen. Got picked up in the sixth round of the twenty fifteen draft with pick number two hundred and four. Went to the Ravens. I don't even know him as a Raven, to be fair. That's that's how late I am in the picture. Went went to the Ravens from 2015 to 2018, and he's been at the Raiders ever since. Made his first Pro Bowl appearance, not last year, but the year before. And as of this moment, he has 270 receptions for 3,184 yards and 16 receiving touchdowns, including only two last year. Nine the previous year, three the year before that. He was suspended for one year, and I'm assuming that's because of drug-related issues. I'm not going to look into it at the moment. We're going to give him his time of day and watch this video. A guy like that, you know, creates problems. Vegas touchdown! He's an athlete, a tight end. You know oh, Minka! What's up, bro? Across the league. Dominate today. Be great, bro. Darren's just a, he's a matchup nightmare. He's freakish. You have to have two in his direction. If you leave him one on one, it's bad news. That's the thing. Six foot six, four four five for the forty yard dash. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's a guy that they use a lot, no matter what circumstance, whether it's first down, second down, third down. Watch forward. Sometimes people say you can put hands on him. I mean, the thing is, you got to you got to think right. Just a just a just a short two inches taller. He'd be 6'8", running a 4'4'5", 40-yard dash. That would, be the ab that would be an absolute phenom. That'd be all over ESPN. A 6'8", motherfucker, on the offensive side of the ball, running a 4'4'5", 40-yard dash. The fact that he's 6'6", kind of dampens down that excitement, right? Which doesn't make sense, because I tell you what, you talk about speed transitioning into a game, game speed. As if, you know, as as opposed to his track speed. Well, let's talk about height transitioning into a game. He's six foot six, but he's got a 37 inch vertical. So, look, I, I, I'll add a couple of inches on there. Um, let's call him six eight. 
It's not him just being a big slug. Like, nah, he's. He ain't a big like, slug. <laughs> big that's slug. No Who's talking? Oh, mate. What are you talking about? <laughs> Fuck me, dead. Um, a big slug. Ain't no one wants to be called a big slug. Yeah, but I have certain way. Oh, That ain't a big slug. You run whip routes, change your direction. Uh, he got real good hands. Uh, and he's a physical guy, too. <laughs> You know that. Let's have a look how long that Bengals defender was on the ground here. Watch this. I'm pretty sure he was concussed. You know, that ability to get open, create space, use his body, make contested catches. He's one of those guys you're like, yes, he's a true tight end. You know, he's able to do everything that you ask of him at a high level. Much respect to him. He is a true tight end, and I'll tell you what, he's a, he's a lighter tight end. He's a faster tight end, which means, in my opinion, he's a more exciting tight end. Darren's like one of those monsters from Space Jam. You feel like he can just elongate his arms and make crazy catches. The Chargers game, Derek threw it in the corner of the end zone. It was a pass you thought that was maybe being thrown away. Taking advantage of the size of no, that. you take that risk. Waller and Nasir Hadley. Derek sees the background and just throws it high. And you see Darren's hands go up and catch it and bring it down. Just put that thing up in the air and let the big man go up and get it. When Darren gets passionate, you know, you know, he just made, he just made a, a dang good play. Carr hits Waller and the Raiders are in business. Biggest play that I've made in my career, if you look at the situation, I was a third and 17 in the playoff game against the Bengals. It's going to be over if we don't move the ball. Third and 17. Oh! I'm not sure if that would be a first down, but it would be close. A lot. That was the first time that we ever hit it. There's like a huge situation. Darren Waller's peers voted him onto the top 100 for the third straight year. Yeah, it's pretty dope. You know, it's like you have people that do what you do say that you're one of those guys. Like, it, it actually means a lot. It's a hard occupation. It's not for everybody. So for those guys to see it, you know, it's pretty cool. Hey, that's a plan. Respect for you, bro. Likewise. Good luck. Good luck. Bro. Appreciate it. Hopefully, I'll see it. I'll see it tight in you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. <laughs> He's hosting some lectures. Um, wouldn't mind being a, a fly on the wall in, in, in one of those, but unfortunately, I'm not six foot six, and I don't run a four four five forty yard dash. <sighs> Anyways, guys. It's not about me, it's about Darren Waller. And in the next video, we're looking at Kyler Murray, the quarterback for the Cardinals. Can't wait for this. Love a quarterback video, especially one as explosive, as um, as dynamite on the field as Kyler Murray, I must admit. So thanks for watching. Head down into the description box below to check out various ways you can support the channel. And um, have a great day. See you in the next video. Peace out.